worst loss, I would probably have to say the one that really like got to me was um, summer of 2014. We were in a tournament in Cooperstown, New York. We were going against the number one team that they were just blowing everybody out. And my team, we don't back down from anybody. So we're like, yeah, we're, like, we're going to beat them. Like, like we wanted to play them. Um, so it was like a back and forth game. And then like the fifth inning, or sixth inning, um, I end up hitting a home run to tie the game up. And my coach is like, go get loose. Cause he wanted me to pitch. So I go out, I go get loose and everything. And it's the last inning. They have bases loaded. It's a two, two count. So I threw a curveball that was on down the plate, but he called it a ball. But the batter knew it was a strike, and the, their coach knew it was a strike. So they started walking off the field. So we're, we're all like super mad. The parents are yelling. Our coach starts yelling. The umpire threw our coach out the game. So we're just like, wow, like they don't want us to win. So before he left, he called a fastball. And I threw a fastball down the middle. The kid did the same thing, walked off the field, their coach walked off, everybody starts walking off the field, and he calls it a ball. And they they end up winning the game, and I would say that's probably the hardest loss I've ever taken in my life. Like, it was so, we were all just so, like, so sad, we were all crying. And we get into the dorm where we were staying, and it was just, like, dead silent. You just hear people, like, sniffling, crying, but... All because of two bad calls. Like, I still think about that game till this day with my teammates, and we're still like, we should have won that tournament. Like, we should have had that big trophy in our in our trophy case. Like, a couple weeks right after, we went right to the Little League World Series. I can't really compare them. But I guess, like, like losing that tournament, even though we were supposed to win, and then, like, being on cover of Sports Illustrated and having the time of my life with some of my best friends, like, I guess it evens out.